Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials video. Today's video is going to be over cut autos and basically what to do with them. <laughs> uh, recently, I got back, you know, some Matthew Modine and Jim Jensen autographs. And Matthew Modine, he likes to sign the envelope you sent them and send it back to you and he also signs your letter that you sent to him and sends it back to you I don't know if he just don't want the extra paper or trash or what but I don't know he sends them back so um, what do you do with your index cards and your um, you know papers and letters and stuff like that that you get back well you can use them as cut autos now what is a cut auto basically it's an autograph that's cut from something else if you have a book you get that it's pretty common that you someone will get a book signed and then cut it out and then you can display that in different ways same thing with a letter that's how you get like um, you know George Washington's autograph or Babe Ruth's autograph and recent cards because they'll take an old letter or, or a document that they had signed cut that out and then place that into a card so basically what do you want to do with them how can you display it um, one they have um, some cards that you can you can manually make some cards and slide stuff into them but sometimes like these I mean that's not gonna fit into a card that's <laughs> That's a big, big signature. Um, so one thing you can do is you can put them in binders. They have um, sheets where you can have like up to four by sixes, up to five by sevens. You can put them uh, the whole letter you want into like a like a sleeve protector. Um, put them into binders, similar to that. You know, this is one the four by six. It'll hold up to four by six, but I got these index cards in here. Um, they do have some four on a page where you can fit um, index cards in there a little bit better. There's other types of little albums like that you can buy. Like here's Daniel's NASA, where you can, you know, put them in like that. Um, there's some where you can put them multiple. Like here's my All American Girls binder where these pages you can put three to a page like that and these are also a four by six size so binders is definitely a um, easy popular uh, option you can just flip through them and take a look at what you've got another option would be like these index card boxes this here is what I use for my blank index cards I just hold them in there just a little box and you can get these usually for like a dollar or two and they have a little card here where you can actually put like what label in what you want I don't because I just know there's blank index boxes or index cards in there um, another type is like this and this is actually what I use um, basically to store mine in until I figure out what I want to do with them and I've got So many, <laughs> let's see, signed index cards, like there's Del Murphy, but got a lot of index cards in there, and also I've got where I've gotten other notes and letters from people, so I found these at like a Goodwill, it was a hat that was signed. Um, I don't collect signed hats, so I thought I'd give it a try, and I cut the autographs out of the hat and made a little index card out of them. So, these are just some uh, other ways you can store it, just like in a box. Another popular method would be to mat them in a photo. Now, this is one that I like, and what I will do on probably most of them. Um, and here's some examples of that 
provided by Mr. Zane Savage, our co-host on the Autographers Anonymous. So here's a few examples of matted photos. Now if you've seen some of my other um, my collection videos, you know I like to basically keep them in uh, 8x10s and binders. So I'm going to show you something that I like to do. Now a lot of people, I haven't seen this done with a lot of collections, so um, it may not be a very popular one, but it's one that I like to do. And then you'll take a photo, you'll print out like a photo, like here's one of Shelly Winters from Pete's Dragon and I've got a Shelly Winters signed index card I actually have another one here that I was going to talk about as well this is another thing if if you do it right you can if you want it you can you know do some cuts to where you know it doesn't necessarily show your names you don't want your name shown or whatever but one of the things you don't want to do is when you're making your cuts don't cut it too short like I've got a Matthew Modine here that was the bottom of a letter that I cut it cut my letter part off of it but this is really probably too thin at the top you want to leave some space um, really I try not to cut them um, until I figure out what I'm gonna do with them so if I'm going to put them in a photo, or if I'm going to put them on a mat, then that way, I mean, if you're putting it behind a, a mat, uh, matted photo, really, you don't even have to cut it. You can put the whole letter back there, just reposition it, or, you know, the more intact, the better, really. But I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to take this Shelly Winters, and I'm going to put it into this photo. Now, you can put it on the outside but to me that doesn't look as well what I like to do is find a good place for it cut the photo and then take the index card or cut auto and put it behind it now you want to get some painters tape or some masking tape preferred painters tape um, and then at that point you will tape it to the back of the photo and then the autograph will show right through so I'm gonna take a few minutes and I'm gonna do that for you guys it'll be like alright so made my cuts that's where I'm gonna put my autograph and just put it behind like that and you can adjust it however you want you know and that's why it's good to have a little bit of a, a play in the back. You know, I've, if you can see, I don't know, the lighting. I'll try maybe going this way. Just just for uh, video sakes. You can see there's plenty of room to where I can move it around. you got plenty of room all the way around for the autograph. Plenty of room to um, put it to it. So I'm going to tape that right in and show you the final product all right there we go now you have a photo with Shelly Winters autograph in there and that can be put into a frame or that can be put into a binder with mm, sleep protector now one of the things you want to be sure you do or don't do is I don't know if, you, if it's picking it up you whenever you put the tape I use masking today I would prefer painters tape because um, it holds without leaving any residue if you need to pull it off or there's not as many like chemicals and things in it you don't want to put the tape where the autograph is I don't know if you can if it's picking up on camera or not but you want to tape where it's not <laughs> where the autograph is not that way just in case if the tape some of the chemicals in it or whatever the glue tends to bleed through the paper you don't want that to bleed onto your actual autograph um, but yeah that's one one option as well is to put it into a photo like that 
So let me know down below what you do with your uh, cut autos or index cards. And um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.